Welcome to Expose. I'm Karen Coster. Well, it's Shakira Day here on Expose with hips any circus performer will be proud of and a mane that will put a lion to shame. Colombian cutie Shakira was frank on a few issues. With me now to tell me all about the exclusive is Sean. Now, Sean, you began by asking about that infamous incident at the VMAs. I know, it's legendary at this stage. Kanye West jumped on stage, grabbed the mic off Taylor Swift. Shakira had just given her the award and she was less than impressed. Take a look at this, Karen. I was on stage uh, and I had I had just uh, given the award to to Taylor, and you know I was kind of up, spaced spaced out a little bit, absent-minded. You know I was applauding and and uh, and and then I noticed that that uh, Kanye jumped on stage, and so I, I figured that he was saying something nice, but I, w I wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs> I was just like you know, yeah. and then. I noticed that the, the crowd reaction and the, the faces in the crowd started changing. I'm like, oh my God, this guy's saying something that is might not be mm. <laughs> completely right. <laughs> so I started listening and I couldn't believe my ears, you know. I'm, she, she felt pretty bad, of course, and we, we were all feeling pretty bad on stage. And, and backstage, everyone was so pissed at, at his comment. And, and I think Beyonce was probably very embarrassed and it was very uncomfortable. The whole thing was very okay. uncomfortable. It must have been so bizarre to be right up there. I love that she was just like, not even listening. She's I know, at the VMAs. Yeah. It's obviously well used to going to these things. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. worse than that, the VMAs, you go to the VMAs and you expect nobody to wearing the same dress as you if your PAs assured you that nobody else will have it on. Yeah. Pink was wearing the same thing. So oh my God, she was so shocked. <laughs> That was like the funniest thing ever, you know, um, because my stylist told me, you are wearing, you are, you're going to be wearing a one of a kind dress. Nobody else in the world has it, you know. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, you know, I don't care if anybody, if there's someone else in the world who has this dress. Yeah. I just like it because I, you know, I, I'm just going to wear it because I like it. And then when I saw pink, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Did pink? it? I, like, so I approached her and I, and I went, pink, look at us. And she's like, <laughs> Oh my God! This is the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> it was just like you were know, you? we were la we were laughing. To like, the was the no tomorrow. No, no, she's still working for me. <laughs> <laughs> but she's made one mistake, so she, she won't be allowed to make two. She I assume. wanted to vanish. She wanted to go like oh this, <laughs> disappear from the face of Earth. But I don't care really. It was actually highlight, okay. of the, the highlight of the night <laughs> for me. You know, it was just very funny. Well, it was a gorgeous dress anyway, so it doesn't matter. Nice dress, right? Exactly, yeah. gorgeous. Probably. So technically, I was on the red carpet first. So, so you uh, were first. Uh, <laughs> okay. I love the way that she has a brilliant sense of humor about doesn't the whole she? thing. She takes it all in her stride. Like she doesn't seem that affected by it. Who did you think was uh, the best dress? Did you think it was Pink or did you think it was Shakira? I think it was definitely Shakira, to be honest. I told her that, but uh, she, she kind of went, no, 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 no. Sure, we were both looked nice on the night, but you could tell she knew she looked better. She, she did look a little bit annoyed with the style. She's kind of like, yeah, no, she's still working for me. I know, yeah, yeah, but she didn't fire her yet. But, <laughs> but, um, so I went on to ask her anyway about She Wolf. You know the new video? She's so wrong, she's so sexy. She has to be doing a bit of yoga or Pilates on the side for yeah. it. So I asked her about that, but she ended up saying something she didn't mean to say. Ooh. I actually did a little bit of gymnastics when I was 10. Okay. Yeah, so I guess some of that sex, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Freudian slip Oh my slip god, there. Freudian slip right here. <laughs> gonna, You're just too sexy. Just... Flexibility. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of... oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of sex and being Flexibility. sexy. You ooze sex appear, right? Things around the topic of sex. I'm you blushing. really do. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. But you really do. Is that something you consciously put out there? Because you're obviously really sexy in most of your videos. You're naturally really sexy. Is it just completely natural or do you source it up on stage and for the videos? Um, sorry, I'm still thinking about <laughs> that. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, um, I don't know. I feel a little more in touch with, with, with you know, the... the, the <laughs> <laughs> you can't even speak after that, can you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me you're start fine. over. What was the question? <laughs> it was, you were, you were talking about sex because you said sex. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, I was talking about you be oozing sex appeal. You ooze sex appeal on stage, in your videos, and you seem pretty sexy today. So I want to know, you. Do, do you consciously like try and act sexy when you're on camera? Are you, nor are you, are you just naturally sexy? Uh, I think that you know, my videos and my music somehow uh, reflect my state, my state of mind and, and the way I feel and my views on the world and uh, my own thoughts, you know. So, um, yeah, there is there's no discrepancy between, uh, you know, the way I move and my dance and the videos and my songs and the way I feel. So mm -hmm. there is uh, there is no discrepancy whatsoever.
That looks like great crack. You really had good chemistry with her, Sean. No, I expected her kind of, I was scared going in, going, she's a diva. I had to wait two hours before I got into interviews. Two hours she's late. She's always late, isn't she's she? Always she's always notorious for that. Absolutely. I was told before I even went. Before I got on the plane, <laughs> they said, listen, Sean, book a hotel because she's going to be late. So she was late, but I was expecting her to be told diva, nicest person in the world. She's actually quite a woman's woman, I think. She is, yeah. Very yeah. And she does just ooze that sex appeal, doesn't she? She's just sexy full stop yeah but she does like her comforts as well Sean doesn't she, she certainly does she may be sexy but she dresses down when she's at home because she said she said I'd read on the internet that she dressed in her pajamas around around town in her local supermarket and I was like impossible <laughs> impossible well here's what she said whether it's true or false and I think it's true oh great yeah, is that the reason you live there so you can actually just go down the shops I and love do your shopping it. so chill people are so relaxed and I can you know just stay without sh wearing shoes for days mm -hmm. and and without wearing makeup or just no, actually, I wear makeup every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was exaggerating there. But yeah, I go to the supermarket in my PJs, literally. Nobody cares. It's brilliant, it's isn't it? It's brilliant. <laughs> it is. So like you would say, brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Where is home to Shakira, actually? She lives in the Bahamas in the Caribbean, so there's probably, I think she actually probably owns an island or something. You know, That's and why that, she can so, wander around. Exactly, she probably owns the supermarket <laughs> and it's in their contracts for her staff that they can't actually tell anybody. Oh, great. Um, you did question her on the one thing I want to know about. It's her lyrics. I mean, if you even Google that song whenever, whatever, no. breasts small and humble, what did you ask her about it? I had to ask about that line, breasts are small and humble so you don't confuse with mountains. Everybody Everybody in the world, I think, knows that line and goes, is it a bad translation? What happened? Because she used to write in Spanish. So I kind of had to ask her, what's the story? Where does she come up with these lines? No, it's just a direct translation from my thoughts. I don't, I really wanted to, 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 to express that in that song. It's really hard to, ex to explain your own lyrics, you know. I'd much rather sing them. Okay. <laughs> but, but yes, I, it used to be um, quite a challenge to write in English. I, I used to do it with a dictionary in my hands, you know. Uh, but but uh, but now it's such a such a natural thing for me, okay. you know. For example, in the case of She Wolf, this song I I, I wrote it in music and lyrics at the same time in like ten wow. minutes in English, wow. and then I had to work on the Spanish version. Ah, so now good. things are happening kind of in the Reverse. opposite way. Yeah, yeah, cool. It's interesting. Well, Shakira, we look forward to seeing you in Ireland. Can't thank wait to you. see you there. And thanks thank a million for taking the time. So to much us. for coming. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, she was worth the wait, Sean. She really was, and she assured me she's coming to Ireland. She's never come on tour in Ireland before, and she promised she held her hand up and said her tour starts at the start of next year, and she'll definitely have a date in Dublin. Brilliant, because, I mean, that song is rock and it's brilliant. So, um, yeah, so you liked her? I, I did, I did. I, I loved her, and I loved the new track, She Wolf. I, I didn't get it. I wanted her to go, ah like she does <laughs> in the song. But she, didn't, she didn't go that far. She didn't like me that much. Oh, well, nearly there, Sean. Thanks to William for that. Anyway, now, Calvin Klein launched their latest underwear collection in Brown Thomas last night, and, of course, we were there to find out if we too can look as good as another Latino lovely and current face of the brand.